let's take a look at how to work with layers and to modify your layer settings. You already know that when you have an image and you have multiple layers or just one layer, it's a good idea to name your layer. So you can do that by right clicking or two finger clicking. Um, you can also go to these three little dots here, click on that, and that's gonna go into your layer settings. Um, so I don't like the name of this as background, so I'm gonna rename it school. And then I have another image opened up. Um, you can access these images in the um, description below. And that is this Eagle logo here. And I'm going to um, go ahead and use this layer or this image as a new layer on this one. So I'm gonna do a select all. You could also use the marquee tool for that. I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna come over to this other image and I'm gonna paste. And then I'm gonna rename this because image.png is not a good name. I'm gonna name this Eagle, simple enough. Okay, so now I've got my Eagle and I've got my school. So when you go into your layer settings and you wanna make sure you're on the Eagle layer for this one, um, you may remember from the Ed puzzle, he showed you these different blend modes and the different options that you can use in there. Some of them are going to look better than others. Actually, that looks pretty cool. I like that a lot. Um, and then you can always go back to the way you had it before by choosing none. And it'll go back to the original image um, or you can undo, you can decide how you wanna handle that. But I'm gonna go back and set this as none. And you may recall from other apps that we've used how you can change the opacity or the transparency of an object. Of course, you can do that here in Pixlr too. So the lower this number is, the more you're gonna be able to see through and create like a watermark type effect here. So that's kind of nice. Um, something else that you can do with your layers is once you have them the way that you want them and you don't wanna make any more changes to it, um, you can lock them. And you can see that my school layer has this little padlock here uh, on that layer. So if you wanted to unlock it, you can do two things. You can either double click on it and that will lock it, or you can simply choose lock or unlock in your layer settings. So again, if you don't wanna accidentally make a change to something, um, it's important that you would lock it. And then if you decide you wanna change it later, you can always unlock it. You can also hide layers so that you can see what something looks like with that layer gone. It won't actually delete anything, but you won't be able to see the layer. So if you just click hidden, then that disappears. So the school is still there. You just can't see it. So sometimes it's easier to get an idea of what something truly looks like um, without having that background there uh, so you can make it visible or hidden. So the layer still exists. And notice that this little check mark disappears here too. Uh, so that's another way that you can hide or uh, make layers visible. Finally, you have these buttons down here, which you probably won't use all that often, but if you have an image and you're kind of, you have multiple layers and you're done with um, some of those layers and you know that you're not gonna make any changes to that, which again is very, very rare, you can merge them. Um, the problem is though, they become one layer and now I can't modify the eagle separately from the school. So I'm gonna undo and make them their own layers again. You also have the option to duplicate a layer. So for example, if I went to the eagle here and I wanted to have multiple eagles, I could duplicate that. And you can see I've got two of the same thing now, which is really handy. I'm gonna undo that because I don't want those two. And finally, you have the option to trash a layer or delete that layer, uh, which you can simply do by clicking on it and pressing the backspace key as well. But I wanna bring this back. And then of course, once I have my eagle the way I want it, um, I can resize that. Remember, if you're just doing a regular resize with a selection, you would wanna hold the shift key so it becomes um, keeps the same proportions. Um, and if you're gonna do a free transform, you don't hold the shift key. Uh, and really, you can just do all kinds of things with your layers, but remember, you can rename them. It's very important that you rename each layer. Um, you can duplicate them, you can trash them, and you can use that those cool blend modes in there as well to create some pretty interesting effects. Um, but again, please play around with those, get familiar with them. And remember, you can find these images in the description of the video. Let me know if you have any questions.